G'day, Matt. I thought I'd show you just quickly um, some of the new functions of the bottom panel, which uh, before was set in a default mode, which meant that if you pressed an input and you pressed an output, or actually output then input, um, it would actually throw everything out of whack patching-wise on all the different switches. So I'll show you some key differences and how we've moved about changing that. Firstly, with the mode of operation after consulting with Josh, um, we came about this solution. So over on the left hand side you've got the three different types of um, things you can switch between being HDSDI, the stereo audio switcher or the analog video switcher. From there you select your output. Now this is where it's changed a little bit. Rather than have all the outputs, um, we've split it up into banks of 8 instead of banks of 16 because this allows us to at all times display what you've got selected, the input and the output respectively. So for instance if we select HDSDI, we can see that HDSDI is selected, we've selected output 57 and input 6 is currently assigned. If we were to go in, actually where are we? We're on output 57, so at all times that's displayed, so no matter what menu I'm in, be it an input select, an output select, that's always showing you where you are. And home always gets you back to the start. Um, one of the benefits of this is if we select output 62, we can see instantly that 62 is assigned to input 18. Now, I've just gone into the input selection, and I'm going to select 41 to 48, but really I wanted 49, so I don't know if you can see that. 41 through 48, but I wanted 49. Over here there are up and down keys, which allow me to skip banks of 8. Come on, focus up. Okay, here we go. So it allows me to skip banks at a time, which is much more handy to get around which is reflected over here, as you'll see. It's about. So let's say I assign it blindly to input 54. Now, I didn't want to do that. I really didn't, because now I don't know where it went. However, I do. If we go into default patches, select HDSDI, somewhere around here, you'll see back out here, all the buttons are orange except for this one here which is the input I just changed and simply by pressing takes it back to where it should have been. So at all times, no matter how you screw around with um, any of the inputs, I'm literally going to do this just to completely screw everything up for myself. I'm not even going to care what it was patched to because I know in here, no, there's none there that I've changed, Nope, they're all right. They're all good. Oh, that's wrong. And oh, that's wrong. So instantly I can jump back and um, correct it to where it should have been. So at no point the default patch is ever lost anymore, which is, I think, a very important thing. There are other little things that just make it easy. When you're on the output selection, as I said, you've always got a take button. You've always got a bank up and down button. And if you ever don't want to take something, so if we select output 43, go to an input, and we select input 53, on the other panel, you have to take it. You're forced to take that. Whereas this one, if you don't want to take it, you simply press home, and everything, there's nothing changed. Um, I think it's a better mode of operation. I'm not sure. I'd like to hear your thoughts, and I'd like to see you um, have a play with it. All right, thanks.